Some counties in the Panhandle have completed their contracted debris removal services following Hurricane Michael. Others, like Jackson County, are still working to get everything hauled off of residential, pro residential properties. News 13's Ashton Williams says the county hasn't even set a final date to end their free debris removal services yet. Jackson County has hauled off roughly 6 million cubic tons of debris from residential areas since Hurricane Michael, but there's still a lot more and no end date has been set. Jackson County has so much more debris than all the other majority of the other counties do um, and establishing a date and how long it's going to be funded and reimbursed by FEMA is the biggest thing. More and more debris keeps coming to the right of way. Part of the problem is what's eligible to be picked up. Officials say anything caused by the storm in maintained improved residential areas is clear. So debris from farmlands or woods will not be accepted. When debris is piled up by the road and it's obvious there's not a house in sight and there's nothing that's showing that it's not residential improved area there and, and can't be defined as agricultural, that's the primary debris that is being marked as ineligible. Kane says the county is starting to see more ineligible debris put in the right of ways than what is eligible. The longer you go on with allowing time to put debris out by the road, the more people find to bring out to the road. So at some point there has to be a stop. County officials plan to meet with the Florida Department of Transportation Wednesday in hopes of coming up with a final debris removal date. I'm Ashton Williams, News 13, Panhandle Strong.